Hey, welcome back to Bear's Quid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech using the iPad. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a drag and drop worksheet using Google Slides. So what I'm gonna get you to do first is just go ahead and open up Google Slides. You can just type in Google Slides on um, your browser. Here I'm using Safari browser and just go to Slides. As long as you're signed in, that's gonna um, open up the slides for you, okay? So here, here we go, let's click on Slides. That's gonna open up slides. Now we're gonna create a new um, a slides presentation here. So let's go ahead and click on the blank. For this particular worksheet, I don't want it to be in landscape orientation. So I'm gonna change it to a standard A4 page, okay? So go to files here, uh, go to page setup, and we're gonna change this from widescreen to custom. And we're gonna do this in inches, 8.5 by 11 inches. And we're gonna apply that. That's gonna create this um, A4 page here. I'm gonna get rid of, actually I'm not, I, I wanna keep this. I'm gonna write a title here. I'm gonna say, um, whatever your title is for your uh, worksheet. I'm just gonna say equations match here. Um, I don't think it's equations. Whatever, I'm gonna call it equations match. And then I'm gonna change um, the, the font. I like that font. And then I'm gonna move this at the top of the page. I'm gonna change the background here. And I wanna go with slide change background. And I'm just gonna choose a color here. I want to go with this nice sort of blue background. Now, what I want to do is I want to bring a text box. I should have kept the one that was here originally, and I'm going to write a couple of equations here. Um, actually, what, you know what? I'm just going to do some simple sums for now. So I'll do 3 plus 7 equals, and then I'll do 5 plus 6 equals, uh, 2 plus 7 equals. You can do whatever you want in the worksheet, okay? Uh, I'm just going to show you a very simple one here. Oh, I forgot the equal sign here, um, 13 plus six, there we go, that's all I need. And I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size of this. You'll see what I'm doing in a minute, yeah? Let's keep increasing the size. Yeah, I think that's, that's what I want. So here's the thing now, now that I've created my worksheet, I still need to put the answers in, but what it is, I don't want students to click on this and then edit any of the title or any of the questions. So what I'm gonna do with this is very simply, I'm gonna go to file and I'm gonna go to download and then I'm gonna down, we'll go to download and then I'm gonna go to download the JPEG or the PNG. It doesn't really matter which one it is, JPEG or PNG. Okay, so I'm gonna say, just download the, the PNG version here and we're gonna press on download. That downloads it to your file uh, files app on the iPad, okay? So I'm happy with that now. That's downloaded this particular file. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a blank. So I'm gonna go here and say add a blank page. And then what I'm gonna do with this blank page is I'm gonna go to slide, background, and I'm gonna choose my image and I'm gonna upload it, okay? So I'm gonna upload it, so I'm gonna click on browse. I don't wanna upload a picture because I didn't, I, I, I set it downloaded in the files app. So I'm gonna go to browse, Okay, and this one here, Untitled 3, if I click on that, and then I press on Done. Now what's happened is I, ca I can no longer edit any of this because it's, it's inserted it as a background, so students can't edit this. Okay, so what about the answers? Now I could go ahead and just put a text box here, okay, and say, all right, well the first answer is gonna be 10, and then I can format this as I like. Okay, just click on this and go down to 60, for example. I could do that and even put a border around it, okay? So let's just put a border around it and I could uh, perhaps, I could do that. The issue with doing this is if I send this out, even though students can't edit the question, they could edit this answer. And so they could just change the answer um, and you know, do what they, you know, just do that to it. I don't want them to do that. I want it to be a drag and drop activity, okay? And even if they didn't, let's say, edit it, just to grab this is a bit difficult. It's cumbersome dragging it because look, if I just, if I don't, Look, you see that? If I don't click on it properly, it doesn't drag, it just highlights. So look, I have to actually, it's very difficult to just grab this and move it. I know I'm making it look, look as if I'm being silly here, but it, it, I mean, if I can't do it the first go, then students are gonna struggle doing it the first go as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna m move away from the Google Slides for a minute and we're gonna go and open up a new tab and type in Google Drawing, okay? So type in Google Drawing and click on Google Drawing, it's gonna open up, as long as you're signed in again, it will open up this here, yeah? This is where we can draw our uh, our answers here. The canvas is actually really big. If I bring a, um, uh, let's say a box over here, and I bring this box like that, and then I double click on it, and I type in the answer, which was 10, and I go here and I say, hey, 60. Um, you know, I'm gonna to have to do it really big, 
in order for it to fit here. Okay. So the problem here is that there's a lot of dead space around the actual image that you're creating. So if you do save this as a PNG and you import it into your slides, you're going to have all that dead space. And I don't want that. So here's the, this is what we're going to do. Okay. Go to files and go to page setup again. And this time what we're going to do is we're going to customize this and we're going to make it as small as we really need it. Okay. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to write two inches by two inches. So two inches by two, apply that. So now that is two inches by two inches, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and bring my shape. Okay. And I'm going to press shift this time. It's going to create a square. There we go. Look, that's perfectly fine. I like that now. Now in here, if I double click on it and I type the answer, which was 10 and let's change the font. Now that's too big. Let's go to 72. Yeah, that's perfect. Put this in the center. Yeah, we'll align this in the center. Right. That's my answer. I'm going to make sure that I put um, maybe I'll do an orange here so it pops for the students to you know make sure that they understand that they need to drag this around yeah i like that now what we're going to do here is we're going to go to file we're going to go to download and this time we're going to make sure that it's a png so we're going to save it as a png okay so that's going to save that as a png i'm going to download that if i go back to my slide i've got a couple of more answers here that i need i need 11 i need 19 i need 9 and 24 so let's go back to my drawings and here i can easily just go here and say hey 11 and then go to file download PNG and download that uh, one was 19 so we can go ahead and go to file again download PNG and save that uh, we had 24 okay file download PNG and download it and then finally I think we had nine so we'll go ahead and save that as well so download so you see that's not taking us too long you know it's maybe a minute just to set this up and now we've got all the answers that we need okay so there's no point of us going and finding images that might have nine or 19 or 24 here we can create our own so I'm happy with that I've got all my images there uh, how do I bring them into um, my worksheet now so here's the thing yeah if you go to insert and you go to insert picture and then you upload from computer you can only upload one at a time. Now, remember, this is not from your photo library. It's going to be from your downloads. So you can go to browse and here they are. Look, I've, got, I've done uh, a few before. So these are the new ones here. So if I, I can't actually click and bring more in. OK, so what I'm going to do here is really fantastic. Look at this. I'm going to bring my files app and I'm going to do a split screen, go to my downloads and then I'm going to press shift and I'm going to select the first one and then Keep on pressing shift here and press on the last one and then drag all of these into your um, Google Sheets here. Yeah, you look, that is a power tip. Did you know that you could do that? <laughs> Comment in this section below. Look, now that they're all highlighted as well, what we can do is we can just go ahead and resize these as we want. I'm going to go and press undo here and I'm press shift and then resize it. If I press shift, it keeps the aspect ratio, it keeps them as little squares. I'm going to go ahead and make them a bit smaller and now I'm going to bring them. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to align them at the bottom here. Okay, like this. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to align them at the bottom. I'm going to highlight these. Whoops, I'm going to just highlight these. And I'm going to go to the border and I want it to have this border here. And also, if I right click on here and I do format options, click on drop shadow. And I think the distance make it a bit more. Oh, you know what? Look at that. Oh, that looks good. So now what we have is, let me just get rid of that there. We have, you have your worksheet and no one can, you know, they can't manipulate your worksheet because it's locked as a background. And then you have these as images that they can drag and drop wherever they need uh, them to go. Okay. So they can just drag and drop them here like that. How quick and simple was that? Now, there are so many different activities that you can create. This is just a very simple, it's not even a formula match. It's a, it's a, a, some, it's just addition, isn't it? It's just simple addition. Uh, and you can create whatever worksheets you want using drag and drop using uh, like this. Now here's the beauty of it. Students can't do anything to these. Of, of course they can delete them. Okay. But they can just undo that. It's so easy for them to just drag and drop. Okay. As if you looked at, remember the previous one where we will try to, we try to create uh, a text box it was so difficult for us to drag and drop the text box here we can just drag and drop these as we like okay that is really super simple and of course you can um, make this as fancy as you like yeah you can make this as fancy as you like for now i think that's brilliant um and then they how so how would you share this out with students okay first thing first let me just grab these and put them back okay let's say we just put them back there and maybe you know what i'm feeling just i want the border to be red 
and maybe make it a bit thicker here. Wow, look at that. Now they can really see that they need to pick these up and drag them around, yeah? That is really, really nice. Okay, so how would I share this out with students? Of course, I would go ahead and share this on my Google Classroom. I would write it as, as an assignment, perhaps. So go here, type in Google Classroom, okay? Remember, I'm using the iPad here. I'm not using the computer. Everything is uh, doable uh, quite well, actually, just like a desktop browser is uh, on the iPad. So using Safari here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose my class, go to Classwork, and then, yeah, I've got that. And then go to Create and make an assignment and then give it a title here i don't know some i don't know what you want to call it and then just give an instruction drag and drop um the correct answers in the worksheet that's it simple as that i can add it here okay um google drive uh where is it it's my recent one just remember okay that you created this first page you probably want to go ahead and delete this first page so they've got only this um here, yeah, and you might want to add an extra sort of instruction and say, hey, drag and drop the tiles at the bottom, yeah, or maybe put that instruction in here. Yeah, that's nice and clean now, yeah. Uh, maybe we should call this something, some drag and drop. Okay, that's better. I've actually given it a title, okay, which shows that I'm an organized person, uh, and I can go here and maybe refresh this. So add Google Drive. I can confirm, look, some drag and drop, that's the one I want. Let me insert this. I will go ahead and make a copy for all students. So, sorry, here, let me show you again. So, you don't want students to edit the file, you want to make a copy for each student, okay? So, each student can, can uh, uh, edit this file and they will, it will be saved in their folder as well as uh, your Google uh, Classroom folder as well. You can go ahead and check all the students' assignments. So, we're going to go ahead and assign this now. And then students are going to be able to drag and drop that file they're going to be able to drag and drop uh, these icons, okay, as they like. And of course, your master copy here will not be affected because you made a copy for each student. I hope you found that helpful. I am going to do another one where I've got like a, a grid of axes. I've got like, um, what do you call it? Uh, graphs, okay, uh, functions, and then where you can like drag and drop other items. So you can really go crazy with this. Uh, be as creative, creative as you want. Um, really think outside of the box, okay, create activities where maybe students can do a choice board, uh, okay, um, anything really that you want. It could be a starter, it could be uh, a middle, a plenary of your lesson, uh, just have fun with it. Uh, and uh, if you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and turn on notifications. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.